Installing a lightning conductor is not simply putting a spike on the roof, a length of cable and knocking a rod into the ground. It is important initially to do a test on the soil resistivity. This will tell us how long the lightning rod needs to be in the ground and maybe how many rods are required. We measurement cloud rod, uh, the resistance of the ground rod, yes. Yes, Tapum. Now 1.9 ohm. 1.9 ohms. The ground rod resistance not over 5 ohm. All right. Yes. Okay. More food. If, uh, if more than is near zero, is more better. Near zero. Okay. The lower the number, the better. Yes, Kapum. All right. Is and is this for the lightning conductor? Yes, Kapum. Okay. Thanks very much. As a result of this testing, it was determined that a delta grid configuration of three three meter ground rods was required. The three ground rods were joined together by a 50 ohm copper cable. Rather than a mechanical join like a C-clamp, the cable was exothermically welded to the ground rods. The joining was achieved by using a combination of gunpowder and pieces of copper to weld the cable and the rods together. Once the three ground rods have been joined together, they are further joined to the cable that goes up to the roof and the lightning conductor. This cable passes through a ground test box. This facilitates follow-up potential testing. <laughs> Soil resistivity changes throughout the year due to changes in moisture content and temperature. Having a ground test box gives easy access for retesting. Meanwhile, on the roof, a technician has fitted insulated feet to the steel roof. He is then able to attach the lightning conductor to these feet and not to the steel roof directly. And so the system is complete. A bare copper cable of the appropriate resistance is attached to the lightning conductor. It then passes through a series of ceramic lightning rod insulators to ensure that the cable does not touch the building. As the cable reaches the ground, it passes through a plastic conduit the purpose of this conduit is to ensure that no one touches the cable at the same moment that the building is struck with lightning. <laughs> 